Basically, uh, myopia is a uh, public issue, very a public issue, very important because in 2050, we have an idea that almost 50% of the population will, will become myopic. That's not, not an issue if you think on that just a hassle, just a problem with glasses, but it's not that. Myopia is not longer a problem with glasses or thick glasses. It's a problem of disease. Myopia is indeed a disease. It's increase of the risk of diseases on long term, especially high myops, more than five or six diopters, has a higher risk to develop retinal detachment, myopic maculopathy, and so on, that will conduct to the, to the blindness. Indeed, in 2015, the idea is to have around 10% of, of the global world, world population that will have higher myopia. And uh, that people, it, it getting, when that people is getting older, they will increase the risk to have the problem. It's like a, a time bomb. So it's a clock bomb. It's, now it's not a problem, but in the time when that people arrive to 60 to 70 to 80 age old, they will have high, very, very dramatic risk to lose the vision. So we need to act today to slow down myopia as, as much we can and to avoid that, that scenario. And we are very lucky today because we have different tools that we haven't in the past. We have atropine, we have soft lenses for myopia control with plus peripheral power, or we have ortho -K that at, at the moment for me is the gold standard. So that's the tools we can use that. And that's the tools we need to use that right now. It's not longer time to wait for more. So that's, that's the epidemic of myopia we need to cut down. Usually you have a personal history behind. I'm, I'm indeed myopic. I'm minus 6.5. So I have uh, 41 percent times more risk than an emetrop to have myopic maculopathy when I get older. So I want to try to avoid that the child can arrive to the same situation than I. It's a personal issue. I, I remember when I was young, I, I started to become myopic at five years old and my parents were very, very concerned about that. And every time I went to the ophthalmologist, the myopia increased for half diopter. So at, at age of 12, we left the ophthalmologist. I, I, I suddenly spoke to my mother, I say, we need to do something. We need to do something. It's not possible to increase myopia every year for half the other because when I get 25, I will have, I don't know what, I, I calculate the amount of myopia I will have. And we try to find out, but it's nothing at the time. But now times change and we have things to do. So that's why I, I study optometry. Inside optometry, I discovered that visual therapy, the GP lenses for myopia control. I started to do that in 1988. And that success was middle. You know, that is not very, very extremely successful way to slow down myopia with GP lenses. But we, we, we fit some GP lenses flatter than K. We're trying to, to do the old ortho K in the, in the times. And I guess we did something there. At the end, we have the chance that in 19, uh, 15, 1995, we arrived the ortho K lenses, the first three, three, three curved lenses. And we started to do that. And I start to investigate and design my new designs that pop out at uh, 2004. And the, the funny thing is that that time the lens only corrects minus two diopters myopia. That's, uh, that's make me laugh at the moment, but at the moment it was, oh, we can correct two diopters. 
now we we improve that design and we improve the curves we, we improve the optical zones to try to control better myopia and to try to control better myopia is one idea but the real idea is to prevent myopia that's why i i de developed my my last design in myopia control because the goal will be you know a, a child that is going the way to become myopic so you can act before myopia occurs so that child will never be myopic in the future it will be zero myopia that will be the future that will be the goal we will long maybe in 10 years maybe in 20 years but 10 changes we will see we will see good good times in the future Et voilà.